Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we will start our new chapter that is egg. Let's start. Formation of egg. Formation of egg begins in the ovaries of poultry with the development of a yolk that contains the germ cell. The germ cells are the chromosomes that gets united to form an egg. So the sperm passes through the oviduct in the time and reaches the yolk before it is coated with egg white in the sperm that is fertilized. Here the sperm fertilizes the egg, you can see in the picture. After that, it moves into the oviduct. What is oviduct? It is a tube from which an egg passes from an ovary. And the layers of egg whites are secreted and for the yolk. So in this step, the egg white formation occurs. In step four, the encasement of yolk and white happens as it moves down the oviduct. There are two membranes, inner membrane and the outer membrane. The inner membrane is comparatively fragile while the outer membrane is uh, tough, tougher than the inner membrane. So these uh, two membranes uh, will confine the yolk and white. Finally, a shell develops around the outer membrane as the egg moves through the region of the oviduct that secretes minerals to provide this strong outer protection for the egg. Calcium is the mineral of particular importance in the shell. During egg formation, various defects may develop. If a blood vessel happens to rupture in the ovary or along the oviduct, the blood spots occur in the yolk or in the white. That depends on the location of the lesions in relation to the stage of the egg's development. Structure of egg. Small sphere of light colored yolk at the center of the yolk is known as white yolk. Then there is a connecting tube between the white yolk and germinal disc, or you can say blastoderm, it is called blastobra. There is a concentric rings of light and dark yolk layers that constitute the yolk. And the vitelline membrane serves as the enclosure or sac of the yolk. These two can be, uh, can be seen clearly in the picture. Membranous structures that extends from opposite sides of the yolks into the white. This is known as chalaza. These are the extensions of the chalaziferous layer. It keeps the yolk in the center and it does not get mixed with the white by impeding movement. White. Albumin surrounds the yolk to provide a protective buffer. This albumin is known as white. There are three layers, thin and thick layer and another layer which is the final layer that finally protects the whole egg. The innermost layer is fairly fluid material which is uh, visibly can be seen as a thin layer in the picture and the another viscous layer is the thick albumin or albuminous sac that encompasses the thin albumin. You can see in the picture the thick and thin albumin are clearly visible in a raw egg. Enclose the entire contents of the white and yolk of an egg is the shell membrane. Inner shell membrane is immediately adjacent to the outer thin albumin and serves to the confine this fluid of white. You can see the thin layer that is adjacent to the shell. 
there is an outer shell membrane which is next to the shell. At the large end of the cell is an air space. It is known as air cell, which develops between the inner and outer membrane as the egg cools. You can see in the diagram, air cell is over the larger end of the cell and in the cooked egg, you can see it as well. This air cell is very important to check the freshness of the egg that I will explain you later on. The final layer is the shell which surrounds the egg and is a quite rigid packaging material. It appears solid but has many tiny pores that permit passage of gases or tiny microorganisms into and out of the shell. Natural protection of egg against microorganism is a thin coating called bloom, which is already on egg when it is laid and seals the pores in a calcium carbonate rich shell. That is why it has always been suggested not to uh, wash the eggs thoroughly or with any sponge or um, uh, soap because of these tiny shells, the uh, soap or um, the contaminated water can get inside the egg. Composition of egg. Egg white is composed of white and egg. Egg white weigh as much as the yolk, approximately 3 milliliters. It is less caloric, almost 15 kilocalorie in one medium egg. It contains almost 90 percentage of water, has almost no egg, no fat, and it provides one third times more protein than yolk, that is 3.2 gram. So it is actually rich in protein. While the yolk weighs less than white, approximately 20 milliliters, it contains less water, it has more fat, about 4.6 grams, and half of it are triglycerides. It does have lecithin, which has good emulsifying qualities. It is 3.5 times more caloric than white, that is 52 kilocalorie in one yolk, one medium egg yolk. It has less protein than white, that is 2.4 gram. It does have some iron and bit of vitamin A. The yolk contains several different lipid compounds. About half of the lipid in the yolk are triglycerides. What are triglycerides? They are the ester that is derived from glycerol and three fatty acids. The others are phospholipids. These are the components of all cell membranes that accounts fifth of the egg yolk solid. It includes lecithin and cephalin. As I have told you, lecithin is known to be a very good uh, emulsifying quality, which is very important for um, in making of mayonnaise and other recipes which needs an uh, emulsifying um, of uh, that particular recipe emulsification of that particular recipe cholesterol it is a sterol found in the lipid component of egg yolk in one yolk it is around 213 milligram of cholesterol which may eliminate uh, from the people uh, who remain in the uh, higher um, limits of uh, cholesterol and uh, and their body may making the higher amounts of cholesterol that is why the cholesterol from the diet uh, can be restricted so it can be eliminated from the uh, diet of those people protein in egg which is um, specially present in the whites Albumin are also known as egg whites. The albumin protein contributes various characteristics to the behavior of egg in food preparation. Here is a table that represents uh, uh, the percentage of the different types of protein that are present in egg white. Ovalbumin, conalbumin, ovomucoid, lysosome, globulins, and ovomucin. Their percentages are given. Uh, other than these, the other 
uh, protein that may include our flavor proteins, ovo glycoproteins, oval, oval macroglobulin, ovunio hebulator, and avidin. Ovalbumin is the most abundant protein that is present in white. It accounts half of the protein in egg white. It is denatured easily by heat. Cornalbumin, significant protein because of its ability to bind metal and forming undesirable colors of ions of iron, aluminum, copper, or zinc. Complexes with iron and copper with cornalbumin, it causes red and yellow colors respectively. They are heat sensitive and susceptible to denaturation when heated. Ovum coit is a glycoprotein that includes mannose, galactose, and deoxyribose. It is also resistant to heat degeneration. It, it denatures in alkaline medium. Lysosome is an unusual albumin protein with an isoelectric point of pH 10.7. It has bacterial cytal action because of its ability to hydrolyze a polysaccharide in the cell wall of specific bacteria to help prevent bacterial spoilage in the eggs. Oval globulins, these are the two oval globulins, G2 and G3, which are important for their forming ability. They, along with ovomucin and conalbumin, produces great forms of egg whites when they are beaten together. Ovomucin is a fibrous character protein which has four times more abundant in thick albumin than in thin albumin. It contributes significantly to viscous gel-like texture of egg white. It enhances the ability of egg white foam and it is resistant to denaturation by having a heat. Avidin is albumin protein with an isoelectric point of pH 9.5 in the alkaline range. It has an ability to bind biotin, complex water-soluble vitamins, thereby, thereby they prevents the absorption of the vitamins in humans. Once evident is denatured by heating, it loses its property of binding biotin. So it is very important to get the vitamins absorbed in our body if we are eating an egg. It is very important that it should be cooked. The concept of having a raw egg is uh, not appreciable. The yolk consists of four types of particles, yolk spheres, granules, low-density lipoproteins, and myelin thickers. They are dispersed in a plasma containing levitin, a globular protein, and a low-density lipoprotein. Most of the yolk spheres are found in the white yolk, yet a few are located in the yellow yolk, which constitutes almost all of the yolk. Granules account for almost a fourth of the total solids in yolk and about 60% of the content of these granules in protein. Levitin is a plasma protein which is a prominent protein of egg yolk. It is found in three forms, alpha, beta and gamma. The three forms of levitin are thought to generate in the blood of hen developing the egg. Low density lipoprotein is a combination of lipid and protein in yolk plasma. So this category also comes under the category of uh, uh, proteins that are present in yolk. It, consists, it constitutes remainder of the protein found in yolk plasma as I have told you. It consists largely of lipids that is why it is placed in the category of lipids. Protein content is somewhat more than 10% than lipids. The granules in egg yolk contains three types of proteins, the low density lipoprotein that I have already explained and the other two are lipovitalin and phosphatin. Lipovitalin considered as high density lipoprotein in the granules of egg yolk, they are most abundant lipoproteins. Phosphatin is comparatively small protein in the yolk granules that is unique because of its high serine content. 
and its function of binding iron and incorporating it into the yolk. 